Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm here to show you how to recover your deployed RT6-1000. Here's what you'll need. To recover your deployed RT6-1000, you'll need another RT6-1000, which we will set to recovery mode. You'll need an Android NFC-enabled device, shackles, and a rope. As we showed you in our video about deploying the RT6-1000, we know the location of our release because we put it in the RT6 app. From the app's main menu, tap Map. It will show you the locations of all your deployed releases that you've marked on the map. You can tap the individual waypoints to show the name of each deployed RT6-1000. So let's sail out and recover our payload. To make sure that the topside control RT6-1000 can communicate with the deployed release, we need to make sure that the transducer is facing downwards. To do this, we attach shackles to the bottom of the housing and tie a rope to these, ready for dunking. Open up the RT6 app and tap Locate. The app will show you the information of your topside control RT6-1000. Tap Next and select the address of the deployed release that you wish to recover. Tap Locate again. You will see a confirmation message if the command has been successful. The topside control RT6-1000 will now begin to transmit every five seconds and the LED on the bottom of the unit will flash to show you this. You can now dunk the RT6-1000 over the side so that it can begin to communicate with the deployed unit. To increase the accuracy of the location function, you should leave the topside control RT6-1000 in the water while slowly circling the waypoint on the map. This will allow the topside to collect more ranges. You will see a series of overlapping circles appear on the map and where these circles overlap is where your deployed RT6-1000 is located. With the topside unit back out of the water, place your Android device on the transducer. Tap Recover and then get to establish comms with the topside unit. Tap Next and then select the address of the unit you wish to recover. Tap Next again and then initiate release. We can now dunk the topside unit back into the water and the LED will start to flash once again. When the subsea unit signals to indicate a successful release, the LED will stop flashing and remain constantly lit. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. You can find out more information about the RT6-1000 on our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out what's new at Sonodyne. Thanks for watching.